something, definitely, because we need some sort of shield. Because uh, I'm not going to wear any armor either. Um, we are going to go Conjuration as well. I want to summon a lot of things uh, to protect myself. Uh, destruction, definitely. Illusion, because if I can't deal with someone who's too powerful, I might be able to either fear them or something like that. Oxman. Uh, uh, not mysticism. Um, although mysticism's cool, um... Hmm. Let's get past this menu first, and then I'll, I'll let you know, convoy. Um, so let's see. Um, I'm gonna do restoration, because restoration has absorb, uh, health, which is gonna be awesome. And I think that's it, yeah. So it's, it's restoration, um, illusion, destruction, alchemy, alteration. Like, it's, it's basically all magic except mysticism. Just swapped out for a marksman. I'm just checking through again. Right, I think we're good then. There's nothing else I really want. Okay. Now, it's in the title of my stream, yet I'm really bad at spelling. Um, what is it? I before E? So, Siege. Wizard? Oh no! Are you kidding me? It doesn't have enough, um... Wow. Let's just put wizard. And we can't put siege. But we can add a space. How is that a thing? Well, I didn't think I'd run into this problem. <laughs> There's just not enough characters. I can add a space, but that I can't replace that with an E, having it be one word. Bow magic. <laughs> huh. Well, that's really weird. Um. Freaking A. Um. I want to call it Siege Wizard, but I can't. Siege Mage? Yeah, we might have to... Alright, well, I'm gonna change the name of the entire series, because Oblivion doesn't accept that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, uh, Dreadmaster97. Alright. Yeah, Siege Mage works fine. Uh, I kind of wanted it to be a little bit different, um, but, heck, this works. Siege Mage. <laughs> change the change the title of the entire series. Why not? Why not? Because it doesn't fit. There we go. <laughs> Siege Mage. There we go. So we specialize in magic. We have intelligence and luck. Alchemy, alteration, conjuration, destruction, illusion, marksman, and restoration. Sounds pretty good. Let's do this. Really? I would never have guessed. Still, I don't think you'll have any trouble with rats and goblins. I don't think he, he never guesses right. I don't think he ever has. Has anybody ever played and they've actually done it like he's actually guessed your class right? I don't think so. Anyway, Convoy, yeah, you were saying um earlier that you were doing a playthrough. Um, Convoy, I would suggest that you would should definitely use destruction. Um, in the beginning you'll find a you know, with like lower like skills and weapons, you'll find the dice roll very annoying, whereas destruction spells usually hit all the time. Um Beyond that, armor, uh, armor doesn't really matter. Um, oh, he did with you? That's pretty funny, Bringer Retro. Uh, but yeah, uh, armor really doesn't matter. Um, I find that, you know, glass, daedric, they're all pretty much the same when you get up there. Um, adamantium. Um, but I would definitely use destruction. Um, healing's up to you, honestly. Um, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a good thing of magic, but... Um, I made enchanted items, and just everything was fine from there, so, um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I would definitely go to destruction just to get past that whole dice roll issue. 
Let's see. So after the sewers, then what? You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne and Priory immediately. Got it? Yes, I understand. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. What about you? What will you do? I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. By the way, thanks for recovering my comrade's swords. I'll see that they are given a place of honor in the Halls of the Blades. So I think I had two swords removed from my inventory. Uh, we'll continue. Poor Emperor. Oh! Oh my gosh, everybody, we got horse armor! <laughs> I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna make it my active quest. Oh man. Alright, so let's uh, grab this. Because I think he took both of. Yeah, he took both katanas. But. Still, uh. I will take six pieces of rat meat. Yes. Right, we'll jump through here. Oh, let's see what spells we have now that we've, like. Ooh, yes, we have protect. Fantastic. Um. Not sure where to put that, though. Like hotkey wise. Hmm. Maybe what'll do. I'll try four and see if that works out. Ooh, I've opened very easy lock. I'll make that what? Eight? Sure. Ooh, I've cold touch. So six and fifteen, so... F oh, and I've absorbed health on touch. Oh, fantastic. I can summon a skeleton. This is already starting to get really awesome. Um, shocking touch. Why is my... I have shocking touch, which does ten points on touch. Cold touch. Interesting. And absorb health. Oh, man, that's going to be cool. Um, I... It's weird because I'm, I'm thinking of spell combinations, but it's really weird in Oblivion. You actually have to get, like, very far through the Mage's Guild to get um, to a spell-making altar. I might have to add a few mods to add, like, spell altars, like, to all the Mage's Guilds, because that's ridiculous. Um, we should be able to do this right away. Um, oh, we also get a Starlight. Oh, oh, by the way, let me show you Starlight. I added a, a mod. Um, normally you see, like, very green... But uh, I made it light blue. And, uh, I think it looks uh, a little bit better. So this is very easy. Let's use our... There we go. Trainer alteration up a bit. Just healing. Awesome. Oh, and we have a skeleton. Oh, man. We got... We've got our... our, our skeletons... Our shields, we're ready to go. Oh, you only need to do the first quest to get the spell altar? Oh, never mind. I thought you had to go, like, really, really through the Mage's Guild quests. Well, that's the first thing we're doing. <laughs> yeah, on bags, I know what you're saying, yeah. Oh, another thing, Maven's Razor. Sweet, yeah, so these are all the, the normal uh, additions to the game. Oh, of course, you know, I'm trying to sneak with Deep Scorn Hollow. Okay, cool. Frostcrag Spire. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know. I have all these crazy uncles who want to give me their, uh, their properties. <laughs> That's not actually how it works, but... There are different add-ons that add different, like, layers and stuff like that that you can make your home or adventure in and find different items. Pretty cool. Unfortunately, it just inundates you <laughs> with, like, just a ton of messages in the beginning. Oh, interesting. Alright, ooh, gosh. Alright, I'm gonna try to take out the rat first. Of course, my arrow velocity is terrible. I'm adding a mod for that, definitely. Okay. Shield me up. Summon a skeleton. Oh, 
fantastic. I feel like this is gonna be nice. Now what does shield 5% do? Oh, it just gives me 5. That's alright. Fantastic. Oh, thanks, thanks for the help, Skeleton. You really helped out. <laughs> uh, I don't think we need more rat meat at all. Uh, gosh, it really does get dark in here. Isn't there... Aha! Uh -huh, a chest. I thought there was more things. Again. Skeleton if I need it. Ooh, rats. Right? That one right right there. He didn't see me. <laughs> Skelly's too strong and slow. I know, right? can never open that gate. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to make a new save. Return. Sweet. Open, and we are good. Let's exit the sewers. So now we have a save right before the, the gate, because um, Ombag says that's a great way to just start the game off with a new character. Just to save there and uh, change it, which is awesome. Thanks for the tip. Sweet. Oh, repairing the Ori. Okay. And a tutorial. Well, thank you. Look, he's frolicking. Go, my skeleton. Oh, you found a mud crab. I see. Oh gosh. There we go. Crab meat. Yes. Acrobatics and skill increased. Oh no. Are we going to be jumping everywhere? I feel like it's going to be a thing. Alright. Let's do this. I think... I don't think my graphics are turned up all the way. Yeah, I think this is supposed to look a lot better. I don't know why it changed on me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's head to the Imperial City. Because I'm like over encumbered with a ton of stuff right now. I think my my um, my view distance as, isn't as high as it could be. But we could change that. Yeah. Now I could quick travel, of course. But I don't know. I'm too used to Morrowind, so let's just walk into this city properly. Or like, not properly as I'm doing it right now. <laughs> I guess they left gaps here so you could go up here, so I guess it's okay. No, but seriously, you can see, in the beginning, right? <laughs> yes, I know, that's true, right? I'm wearing Mythic Dawn are like uh, the robes, and they're like, "Nah, he's just another guy." Now, in the beginning, right, um, in the beginning cinematic, they show a like two guards, um, one that's like the size of this door, so you can see why that's a little bit of an issue. <laughs> like you'd have to be really tall. Like I'm an Ultima, 
And Ultimers are tall, but that would be huge. 